Looks like I have a giant nose and mouth, a big, big circle. Oh, kind of funny. Love that cup. Actually got this cup from my dad. My dad, before he passed away, had a, a restaurant equipment business. And I got a bunch of these new mugs. And I like them because they've got like this grippy on the bottom. So some of us who are less coordinated than others, they're awesome for because they don't spill over. You, you cannot tip this cup over. It's impossible to tip this cup over. It's, it, the shape and then the grippy make it awesome for people like me who might be a little on the klutzy side. And they actually, they're ceramic, so they keep the coffee warm longer than some of the other cups. And you can microwave them and you can dishwasher them. So I love them. I have a whole set of them. And every time I drink out of them, they remind me of my amazing dad. So that's my little nostalgic thing for today. So daily scare share. What does that have to do with the daily scare share? Uh, nothing. But today we're going to do one thing a day that scares us because we do it every day. Today is actually day 385. But I'm going back to the beginning of the book because last year when I started doing this little project, I started about 30, 35 pages into the book. So I wanted to go back and make sure I covered the whole thing as part of this project for myself, but also for you. So today is a sayings day. The first time I did this was on September 3rd of 2014. And what I find fascinating as I go through this is some of the things that I was thinking about back in September of 2014 I am still thinking about today. I have not implemented them. And I think that part of why I haven't implemented them is because I never stretched my comfort zone. I never did this whole book. So now it's really interesting. One of the things I'd been writing about, let me see if I wrote about it on this day. Not really on this day, but I think yesterday. Um, it's about moving. And tomorrow it's really interesting because I peeked ahead and it talks about getting rid of 90% of the things I own. So since 2014, I have wanted to divest myself of 90% of the material things that I have to create something new and to change my life. And for a couple of reasons, I stopped doing this a couple of months after this. And I had, I had really, really important reasons that were outside of myself that I let impact me about this project and this was just a personal development project for me um but it's interesting that now i am actually doing that i'm actually i would say i'm at about 50 percent already and before the next three months are through i will be to the 85 90 percent mark on that goal now could i have done it sooner had i and maybe this book wouldn't have made a difference but i'd like to think that it would have because it's causing me to take action it's 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 motivating me to take action for things that I've obviously wanted to do for a long time. And I think that's the power of stretching our comfort zone. Uh, I couldn't see myself doing this five years ago, but now I can't see myself not doing it. All right, so what have we got today? Today is a sayings day, and it's all about going down. Now, get your mind out of the gutter. It's not that kind of going down, but whatever you want to think, whenever you read these, you can interpret them any way you want. So it says... <coughs> Inside of a ring or out, ain't nothing wrong with going down. It's staying down that's wrong. And that's by Muhammad Ali. So he's obviously talking about boxing. Now, I don't know all the people that have sayings in these books, but I do know Muhammad Ali. And our challenge today says, today I went down and got back up. And to me, this is all about, um, and I'm thinking about this because we went out to dinner the other night and we had an awesome dinner with my three-year-old granddaughter and she was so fantastic and terrific the whole time until it was time to leave. And then she started to just kind of have a little um, a little meltdown and a little tantrum because she didn't want to get her coat on and she didn't want to leave and she didn't want to go through the transition. Now, she might not have wanted to go out in the cold because it's like, you know, 35 below wind chill where we are. But whatever the reason, I remembered that my mom had always told me because I used to get upset when I'd go pick my son up if he was playing with his cousins or if he was at my mother-in-law's. He would cry and not want to come home with me. And it made me feel like I was a bad mom. But my mom said, you know, Sharon, it's not about that. It's about transitioning. Kids and adults alike, I mean, if I look at myself, I experience the same thing. It's the change and the transition from one thing to the next that we struggle with or that we push against and resist. It isn't, even if it's something that we're going to that we know is a hundred times better for us, we will still find ways to resist us resist it, resist the change, resist the transition, because 
our subconscious wants to keep us always doing the same thing. It wants to keep us safe. That's why stretching our comfort zone is a challenge sometimes. That's why changing up what we do and stepping out of that can be tough. So there's nothing wrong with having mistakes, making mistakes, having setbacks, failing at things. Heck, we all fail at things all the time. We actually fail at things more often than we succeed. All of the people that you see that you look up to have just failed more than anyone else around them. That's why they're so successful. And if you change your mind and look at that life from that perspective, you totally look at failure and success differently you know that every failure is actually bringing you much much closer to what it is that you want and you don't look at things as failures I I cannot think of hardly anything in my life as a failure it's just a stepping stone to where I'm supposed to be going to creating me as the person I'm supposed to be and want to be because we're ever improving ever changing beings and that we strive for more different changing yet we resist that change at the same time it's really interesting only human beings do that we're the only ones that are driven to change and want change yet we push against and try to not change it's crazy but that's just the nature of being a human being and having the cognitive and mental capabilities and the advanced brain power that we have so what can you do today when you fall down to get back up and my advice on that is always just shake it off and take the next step it's always taking action and taking the next step and even if that next step is just stopping taking a deep breath feeling the feelings of whatever happened and then saying okay what is this here to show me what can i learn from this that's one of the most powerful things you can do when you have a setback or an obstacle or a trauma what else is possible what is this here to show me because whatever we have an obstacle or a challenge it's there in our lives to show us something and it's usually something just below the surface of our consciousness that we're not necessarily wanting to see I can think of so many situations like that in my life it's kind of mind-boggling that the right person the right situation that even might be a wrong situation comes into our life to show us to show me anyway that I'm not on the right path that I'm not on the right trail I mean why did I attract the wrong um, relationship for my life because I was on the wrong path for me why did I attract the wrong business partner? I, I'm talking a really bad business partner one time because it was showing me that I was on the wrong path for me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that one hit home. Why have I attracted health challenges throughout my life? And that's a biggie for me because that was, that was the biggest warning bell that I was on the wrong path for me. And I didn't listen the first time so the next morning was more severe I didn't listen that time and I only made a few changes and not enough to get me on my right road and I had a more severe health challenge and I didn't really get on the right path that time and I got complacent and again I had an even more severe health challenge and I find that with me personally and it might not show up this way in your life but I keep getting the lesson until it gets through my thick skull and when it really gets through my conscious and my so that I bring my subconscious of what's going on in that situation up to my conscious level and I see it then and only then do I actually change that way I'm looking at and dealing with that situation then and only then do I get it and I see oh my gosh how could I have not seen this because one of my biggest lessons about not being on my right path and creating what I'm supposed to be creating on the planet and thinking like super duper teeny tiny small that lesson took me 35 years to learn and more and and how my subconscious showed me that lesson was with more and more severe health challenges because you know it's that's just it's what it took to break through to me and help me realize that I've always had the power to change anything I wanted I've always had the personal power and drive and confidence to do and create whatever I want but I let things outside of me work upon me and box me in and let me think that I didn't have that power we all have that power within us everything we need is already inside us it's just things outside of us that that act upon us and we let them act upon us because we think we have to that's funny we don't know what we don't know until we need to know it think about that one today so that's it. Go out, make it a fantastic day. Don't be scared. You've got this. 
if something knocks you down today, and we don't get knocked down every day. I mean, heck, I have a lot more up days than I do down days, but we learn the most from the down days. So if something knocks you down today, what are you going to do about it? Right? It doesn't matter what happens around us. It's always, what am I going to do about it? What am I going to think about it? How am I going to make this work out for me? Because the universe is rigged in my favor. I need to be rigged in my favor too. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.